Hello students, this is Miss McGuire. Today we're going to do something that is kind of like the bunny rabbit that we did a while ago where the carrot moved throughout the little hole that we made in the uh, picture. But today we're going to grow some flowers and some, a little girl is going to be watering them and you can pretend that they're coming up out of the ground. So you're going to need several things for this project. You're going to need uh, several pieces of paper. If you have construction paper, you can use the colorful construction paper. If you don't, you could just use white paper and um, color the objects onto the white paper and then cut them out, okay? So and you're also going to need a glue stick, possibly some tape, um, a pair of scissors, markers, crayons, um, and a straw or a popsicle stick of some sort, something that'll go up between the uh, in the slit that we're going to make to make the flowers grow. All right, so on the very first piece of paper, Miss McGuire has already done this step, but I'm going to talk you through it. On the very first piece of paper, you're going to draw a line where you want your soil to be, okay? It doesn't have to be wavy like mine. It can be straight across. That is up to you. Then below that line, you are going to color with a brown marker or brown crayon. I used both. Um, when I got to the sides, I didn't use marker anymore because I simply didn't want to get it on my table, which I've already got things on my table anyway because I've been using it as my classroom. So after that, you are going to use a black crayon because it's darker than the brown, and you are going to draw like roots that would be that would actually grow under the ground. So this is the soil, and you're drawing the roots of the flowers. Okay, so draw the line color below the line with brown, and then draw the roots with a black crayon. Um, and you just draw them like a little upside down tree, basically is what this looks like. Okay, so then after this, you are going to either draw a circle on a piece of white paper and color it with a uh, yellow marker, then cut it out, or simply cut out a piece of yellow construction paper and make a circle. And then up in this corner of your picture, you are going to glue this little sunshine to this page, okay? And you're going to need to press down so that everything's good and tight. And then after that, you're going to take either a marker or a crayon and you're just going to go around on the white and you're going to make some sun rays to show that um, it's nice and sunny like it is today, thank goodness. Um, and because this is what your flowers are going to need to grow. You need sun to make your flowers grow. So after you've done that, then your next thing that you are going to do is you're going to find a white piece of paper. Any little white, any white piece of paper will do. I'm going to move this to the side for just a second. Um, and you're going to draw a simple little, um, a girl, a simple little, you don't have to draw a girl, you can draw a guy. Uh, kind of like just a stick figure. Make sure you look at the paper to know how big you need to make your little person, okay? And then you're going to simply just draw something, just draw something that would, um, you only need like a half a sheet really for this. So you're going to draw a simple person. So you're going to start with an oval for her head and her face. And I'm going to draw a girl. And then you're going to make like her bangs here. And then I'm going to make ponytails. I'm going to give her a very simple little face. She's pretty happy. Her flowers are growing. And then I'm going to make her where she looks like she's bending. So I'm going to draw a rectangle that's kind of uh, curved to the back. And then I'm going to make the little arms of her dress right here. And underneath here, I'm going to do her legs. And one of them I'm going to do straight. And the other one, I'm going to make her look like she's very happy. And she is flipping her foot around the other way. Well, Miss McGuire made a mistake here. Um, actually, no, I think this will be okay. Um, the point should have been that way. So if you do that, then you could do something like this and just fix it and make her look like she's got some great big shoes on on both feet. So I'm just going to color those in. So see, I made a mistake, and that's okay. Now I fixed it. Now she has on shoes. And we're just going to do little straight stick arms. I'm going to come around her like this because she's going to have a watering can and then down like this where both hands are kind of like beside of each other. And I'm going to make the handle of that watering can just like this and then the top of it right here. And then I'm going to draw the base of it 
right here, and then the little spout that waters the little flowers right here, okay? So now I've got a little girl with a watering can. And so now, then I'm going to just take my crayons or markers, whatever, and color this little girl. And then I'm gonna basically just cut her out. And I'm not gonna try to get into these little spots right here and cut all of that out. Not in here either. I'm just going to cut and I'm gonna make a dot or dashes around her to show this is how I would cut her out. See, she's on a white background and the paper is going to be white that you're going to glue her onto so it doesn't really matter. So you're gonna cut all the way around like this, just around the whole outside of her. You're not gonna to try to get into these little bitty spots and cut out or you, or you may have an accident cut her arm off, okay? So after you do that, you should have something that looks like this, okay? And then we're gonna bring this little paper back that I had and then you're going to glue the little your little person to the paper, okay? And I'm gonna just put the glue on the back of her this time because I can't make that shape exactly. And so I'm just gonna cover up the back of it here, making sure I get a good layer here, and especially onto the edges. And then I'm gonna turn her around and I'm gonna glue her where her little foot is touching the soil because she has to be grounded on something. And you notice that I'm pressing this down and she's really good and tight now. Okay, so now we have our background. Um, then we have to work on something to make the flowers grow. Okay, so then again, you're gonna need to have either another little piece of paper that you can draw like a little stem with and color it green and then cut it out, which it looks kind of like a little rectangle here. Um, same thing with the uh, leaves. You see them up here. I've got little leaves drawn and maybe another little rectangle. And then I have done a um, three flowers and I did them on a white piece of paper and I um, just colored them with markers and then cut them out the best I could. And they're pretty large. I mean, you can make those flowers as big as you want to. This is kind of a cartoonish like thing. So now I'm gonna move this to the side and I'm going to get, I don't have a popsicle stick here. There's, I don't have one. So I'm just gonna use a straw because I do have that. And then this is where your tape's gonna come in. You're going to have to cover the top of this with um, the green. So I'm gonna lay that green on the top of this um, straw here and I'm gonna use the tape and I am going to tape this little piece of this little green rectangle around my straw to make it look like it is my stem okay and I'm just going to continue to do that until I get it all the way around and it's pretty good and secure um, no gaps And then the back of it, I mean, it doesn't really matter if the back of it is all the way closed or not. See, mine isn't. But on the front here, you can tell it looks like a stem, okay? And so then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to use this little piece of um, uh, rectangle here to make my, glue my flowers together here. So I'm gonna make a little bunch of flowers. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put a little dot of glue here on the edge, and I'm gonna glue this little orange flower down. And so you see that, that I've glued it down. Then I'm going to just kind of overlap my flowers so they look like that they're growing like over top of one another or really close beside each other. And then basically I am going to go ahead and glue them all to where the base of this all of my flowers are glued to this little piece of, um, of uh, green construction paper. I'm just, for secure reasons, I'm just gonna put a piece of tape across the back there so that they don't pop off. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to lay them down with the back showing, lay my little um, stem on top, take a piece of tape here, and I am going to tape this together, okay? where you see where you see um, the stem and the flower. So you should have something like this. 
And then the same thing goes for these little leaves, okay? I'm going to turn this back over again, and with little bitty small pieces of tape, I am going to tape these flowers onto the back of this so that they are poking out from the side. Okay, I have two. You can see that like this. And then I might want to put one on the stem itself, okay? So I'm going to take, actually I'm going to turn this one over this way, and I'm going to take this piece of tape and I'm going to just go ahead and just tape that to the back of that straw. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when you get it all together, or mine does. Yours won't look exactly like this, and that's okay. So I'm going to take this little flower piece, I'm going to set it to the side here, and I'm going to bring this one back over again, okay? Now what I did was, I am going to, um, what I did was, I took this and I folded it like this, okay? And I made a cut, if you can see, I made a cut where I knew that it would be below that brown line, okay? And somewhere on this black stem. So here is mine. I'm going to stick my finger through here so that you guys can see it. See this? See how my finger is disappearing in there? It has to be wide enough so that these little flowers can go in it. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go in through the back. See I'm taking my flowers and I'm going to stick them in through the back here and I hope I made it big enough for these flowers to go through. You may have to work with it and you may have to cut it again. I don't know. And I may have to. I'm going to try it real quick. Yes, I'm going to have to. Mine's not long enough. So I'm going to lay it like this. I'm just going to put my scissors inside that little hole very carefully because you can tear this because it is just a piece of paper. And I am going to cut this a little longer. And make sure you're staying underneath the soil though, okay, so it looks realistic. So mine's pretty long now, so you can see that. See how I've, I've cut that open like that? It's kind of hard for me to show you. See this? All right, so then I'm going to come in through the back here with my flowers, and I'm going to stick them up through here just to see if they'll move. So um, they need to be able to hide and then grow, okay? And my little leaves getting hung on something. So what I'm going to do is this little leaf of mine right here is sticking out, and so that's what's getting hung. I'm going to go ahead and tape it down tape it down so that it doesn't and then I've got a little piece of tape right here that I'm going to have to cut so that it doesn't stick to anything and then just curl it back like that so I've got it okay so now uh, basically we have sun soil and now we need water and she's got a watering can so now that you've got all this glued on and you know where the flowers are going to come through you can take a blue marker or a blue crayon and you can make little water droplets that look like they're coming out of your watering can and they're going down into your soil and making you can make little dots you can make little uh, interrupted lines which are like dashes and then make her little water coming out of her can and then if you wanted to you could color all this background area here and make it blue and then you have um, you have a little interactive um, piece of artwork and now that we have the sun out and she's watering then her flowers are going to grow okay and you can move those in and out or make them grow as long as you want to and if you wanted to do something really fun you could probably color the entire or uh, not color but cover the entire straw with a piece of green so that you could act like they grow really, really tall, okay? Maybe even taller than her. So all of this would have to be covered with green. Um, I've got another little piece here that I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of because that is probably what's hanging up my flowers when they come in and out. And so now you have a little garden that can be either small or large. All right. You guys have a good time with this. Make it your own. You can do anything you want to with it. You don't have to just grow flowers. You could grow a tree. You could grow anything that would grow outside. All right? Um, this is a fun piece of art. You can do anything you wanted to to it. You can make it a whole lot more detailed than Miss McGuire did. You can add things to the background. You can be creative with it and do as you please with it. And make it your own. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I miss you. Um, 
stay stay healthy, play outside. The sun's out. Miss McGuire's going outside today. Um, see you all later. Stay tuned for a new video.